Hi. Hello. So basically, uh, Thanksgiving just happened. And, uh, oh boy. Yeah. I don't, with this COVID shit going on, it's like already weird enough. And then my mother's like, oh, so we're all gonna, we're gonna wear masks. Um, like if, if we're not eating, put the mask back on, like, cause like, she's definitely afraid of this shit. I understand this shit going on, it's COVID, okay, whatever, but I, I'm just, I'm so tired of it at this point, and, like, all the little details of her, her stupid, like, she, she gave us all, like, um, Christmas ornaments, you know, and, uh, guess what, you're not a Nana, all right, you're not even Italian, first of all, and, and she's getting, like, you know, yeah, I got every Christmas ornaments. I'm going to start doing this every year. And it's like, she has to, like, eat everything about everybody. Like, she has to, you, you can, like, push me away from my Irish side of the family. They just went, everybody just left. They went to my grandmother's. My grandmother wants to be alone. All right. She's like me. Wants to be alone. Just everybody fuck off, because everybody's fake, she knows that, we share that, that came down the bloodline somehow, but it trickled through my mother in some weird way, and then got to me, uh, that's my estimation, because my mother doesn't understand, like, she'll always say shit, like, oh yeah, I want to be alone, you know, I just, I'm just so stressed out, I, and I, I feel for her, like, that's my mother, so, I care about her, but like, if you're gonna be fucking fake about it, then, like, what is the point? Just fucking be fake, like, just, just be like, you know what, yeah, I say I want to be alone, but I don't really want to be alone, you know, like, she, she does all this real, like, stupid shit that she sees on TV shows and stuff, and she's like, oh, this would be nice, and just, like, shut the fuck up, like, every time I open my mouth, Every time I tried to just, like, you know, say to my brother something, you know, and not, like, it's not like I was just, it's not like I was ramming a spear in his fucking skull or something. I was like, it's just like, yeah, so, you know, work's going pretty good. And, like, she'd have to comment on it. She'd have to, like, open her mouth and say something about it. I, I, this is the kind of shit that I cannot stand. And I do the same thing. I do the same thing when, like, there's a group of, like, 15 people, and people are just riffing off of each other, like, when we make jokes that are relevant and that everybody understands. This is different. This is a completely different thing. Because, uh, and by the way, um, this is, uh, this is gin with blood orange soda made in Italy. Represent. Um. I don't fucking get it. I don't know why she has to do, but like, every little fucking deal, like, okay, so the mail came the other day, right? Let's, go, let's, here's a good example. The mail came the other day. She was expecting a few packages. Oh, surprise. Turns out those packages are mine because they don't tell you what the packages are. They just tell you that a couple of packages are coming. Uh, it turns out they were mine. So, uh. Too bad for you. You can wait another day for your fucking packages. Because she orders shit every... DSW every fucking day. Are you kidding me? How many how many fucking shoes can you wear? Are you on your fucking mind? And, uh... Jesus fucking Christ. She, when I open the door, right? I'm watching TV. She hears the, the mail truck coming. I hear it. I go to open the door. I, and this is what I'm talking about. Every single detail. I stand up. I start walking over to the door. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to go out and get the mail and do her a favor. So she doesn't have to go out there. And on the way to the door, she's like, Oh, could you please get the mail? If you don't mind. And I was like, that's... 
Like, I'm already doing that. I'm already fucking involved in that. I'm already invested. What the fuck? And then I open the door and she's like, oh, oh, just please make sure you thank him. I work in that industry. Of course I'm going to thank him. He's my fucking brother. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Brothers in arms. We're fucking, we're working class. I don't know. You can sell your fucking sewing machines and shit, but I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? It's like every single tiny thing it has to be. And, oh, yeah. No, I'm running shit. I'm like, ma, fucking relax. Will you? I, she just wants control over every fucking thing. This is what sucks. Listen, if you live with your parents and you're in your 20s, start saving some fucking money because it sucks living with your parents. Like, my, me and my father get along. He gets angry sometimes. He makes some jokes after he has a couple beers. You know, he, he shits on me a little bit, and I'm just like, all right, John, just don't even, just let him have, like let him do his thing, whatever. My mother is all over my ass. All the fucking time. On my worst day, I would ask for any other fucking mother. Like, any other mother. And that's not fair. That's not a nice thing to say. But she's absolutely ridiculous. She's fucking insane. Okay? And I've, I've held it in to a certain degree. But after today, it was, I did everything I could to help her all summer up to now figuring out how the fuck thanksgiving is gonna work and no no just like nope if i can shit on my uh my less loved son then i will and my brother's sitting there and he's just like he's got his, like he's got his head down he's just like i don't know and you know and, Here's the kicker. Here's like the, this is just beyond the pale. All right. She brought up my cousin. Okay. Who I fucking hate because everything that he does is fucking ice cream. His shit is ice cream. Everything I do is just a waste of time. Yes. I'm sort of a failure. I'll give you that. But. I do everything I can around here. Her father died. My grandfather died. Did that kid, who's my age, did he get on a plane when he was uh, shooting up heroin out in fucking California on a big adventure? You know, oh, I have a girlfriend and a dog. Guess what? Your girlfriend dumped you. You were shooting up heroin. You were a fucking heroin addict. Uh, I might be an alcoholic, but what the fuck, man? Uh, did you call? Did you write? Did you get on a plane? Did you come back here for his funeral? No, you didn't. You know who was there to comfort everybody? You know who was there to comfort his six fucking children and his wife? Me. So sick of this shit. And then my uncle dies on her side of the family. Working class man. Hated unions. I tried unions. I'm with him now. I, I hate unions. Uh, it just, it just, that's a whole other thing. It, it causes more problems than you need at a job. I love the guy to death. Uh, cause every Thanksgiving, every Christmas, every fucking holiday that we would go to my grandmother's, he'd go outside. My father would go outside. My other, his brother would go outside. My, my other uncle and I'd go outside. And we all just smoke cigarettes and talk about work and shit. And it was great. He's dead now. It's not because of COVID. He had a heart attack. All right. So I know like they're pushing the numbers up because they're just, and now anytime anybody dies, they're just like, oh, it was COVID. But so his funeral, they said because of COVID, there were 10 people allowed. All right. And, and this, this is like the final fucking straw. Like, just. They said there were 10 people allowed. I understood I wasn't invited because there's too many of us to, and I'm, I'm kind of lower on the list than, you know, like he, he's already got five siblings. He's got his mother. He's, you understand. So I understood that maybe I wasn't invited. That's fine. I found out later that, uh, I don't know, 
apparently my brother, my nephew, my nephew, who doesn't even, he's too young to even know anything about the guy. <laughs> and my sister-in-law decided to go, and people could go, but the only 10 people were allowed inside. And then, everybody else who decided to show up could, like, hear the sermon outside. She lied to me about that. Do you understand how fucked up that is? How painful that is? She doesn't have a vendetta against me? Now, I ain't doing nothing stupid, but I'm expressing my thoughts. What, what the fuck else are you going to do? It's fucking ridiculous. Like, all I wanted was just to, like, get Thanksgiving over with and just be like, whatever the fuck. But no, like, it, it had to be a spectacle. It had to be like, oh, well, and I'm sure. I'm a Garen fucking T. She's in the car right now. And they're all talking, and she's just like, oh, yeah, you know, John was really drunk. I was joking around with my nephew. I was like, hey, we were building Legos and stuff. You know, I was trying to, like, be a good person. And she, any chance that she gets, she'll just take any little detail and just shit all over me. And I hate it. I hate it. I had, the past two days, I had nice conversations with her. Just about life and about like, yeah, I know it really sucks and stuff. I, I try to do whatever I can for you guys to help you out. Two friends of mine in the past have mentioned, like, I've, I've told them about this stuff. And they mentioned like, oh, well, if you're really living in like in that toxic of an environment, then you need to get the fuck out of there. I'm like, yeah, I do. I really do. That's why I'm pushing like 55 hours a week at FedEx. I'm trying to do everything I can to just stack money, put it away, just keep stacking, 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 and get the fuck out of it. I don't, it's like 2,500 a week for an apartment in this town and in the neighboring towns. So I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I might have to go out to like Worcester or some shit and live there. Uh, if that's the case, uh, so be it. Uh, there's got to be a FedEx out there. I'll just transfer. You can transfer out there a year. So, it's just disappointing when you try really hard to help people and uh, they just don't, it, it like just doesn't register. It's just not there. They, they don't give a fuck. I don't even like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the lamest fucking, Thanksgiving and Columbus Day <laughs> are like the lamest fucking holidays. You could pop me. I mean, well, any holiday is stupid. Christmas is nice. Christmas is nice because you just spend time with your family and, you know, you open gifts. Everybody's excited. People get each other interesting gifts and stuff. And that's cool. But other than that, I mean, like, what the fuck is thanks for giving me, like, you know, President's Day off of work or whatever, all these bullshit holidays, too. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's nice when you get to there, but I'm just so sick of this. And with COVID, it, it's like 10 times worse. It's just it, like, oh, we got to wear masks or we, we got to like, you know, you eat and then like the rest of the time we're wearing masks. It's like, I understand it, but it, it's, it's fucked up. It's our society is completely fucked up. I don't want to do, I'm tired of COVID. I don't want to deal with it. Put the vaccine out, do it. We know you have it. Yeah, we're not stupid. People are going to be talking about flat earth and shit. And people are going to go off on random fucking, you know, <laughs> you get like Alex Jones talking about all kinds of weird shit all the time. You get all these people talking about Mark Dice and all these conspiracy theories and stuff. Yeah, they're all full of shit. But, I mean, come on. This came out you get week in 2020. We can't come up with a vaccine for this. Uh, hello, China's only uh, caused, you know, like 10 huge fucking uh, flus or uh, viruses uh, in the past, what, like, I don't know, since like the 80s probably? Like, I mean, you don't even have to go that far back. I mean, it, it's a disgusting country. Uh, no offense, but, you know, offense, I guess, it's a disgusting country. They don't take care of themselves. The government doesn't take care of them. Um, yeah, it sucks. 
and we have to deal with that now. That's the norm. Like our society is just, uh, you know, become like, like used to that. And we're just, oh, okay. So everybody just wears a mask. I'm not even a Republican. I know a lot of Republicans are like, they, they're like, oh yeah, I'm not wearing a mask because it's, I'm within my rights to not wear a mask. I have a breathing problem or I got a, I got a medical issue or and I get that, I get, like, the fight, but I mean, I'm not even on that side of it. I just do, I, I'll wear a mask and make somebody comfortable, but, like, this is my family. What the fuck are you so fucking scared of? You know, you know what they're scared of? You, and my father doesn't care, either. He's, we, he and I just talked earlier, and we'll go, we're just, like, sick of the COVID thing. We're, we're, we're like, fuck this. Like, this is getting really old really fast. Everybody's afraid of the media. The media will spin anything the way they want it to. It, everybody knows this. I don't need to tell. Look, I don't need to tell my generation this, and I especially don't need to tell newer generations this. I'm 30 years old. All right, kind of old, but everybody knows this. People who are like 30 years older than I am know this, and they've known it since they were my age and before. It's fucked up. It just ruins everything. And then, like, if this is any foreshadowing for what Christmas is going to be like, oh, my God, I, I don't even want to, fuck it. I'm just, I'll just stay in my room all fucking morning. I don't give a fuck. This has been a rant with Fuca. And, uh, fuck everything. There are some people who, uh, recently I've been, like, kind of mean to. Uh, I'm not talking about... You know who you are. If I'm talking about you, I'm sorry. Shit happens. Uh, you can unfuck friendships or non-friendships. Um, uh, the days go on. That's it.